Well, hello there. We made it to Wednesday. Another glorious Wednesday. February 16th. And guess what? Next Monday is going to be Biden's Day. A.K.A. Let's Go Brandon's Day. Let's Go President's Day. That's right. I have no clue if I'm going to be making a video that day. I just have to see. I'm just not quite sure what I'm doing. But with that being said, I saw this tweet the other day that just kind of bugged me. And, and I'm just going to just show it. It's right here. Dark Horse. Sharika Adrahamam. Hope I'm saying the last name, but Shu for Congress posted this. My pledge is not to be part of the political class. I abide by the same rules as everyone else. I won't exempt myself from legislation that Congress passes. Politicians are not above the people they serve. This particular person decided to be nasty and it bugs me. Sorry, but this is a Muslim candidate. Even though running as a Republican, the Muslim faith does not correlate with the American values. And this person should not rep not represent us in the government. This is time for clarity and discernment. I actually did a screen grab because I don't want anybody to go to this person's page and harass them. Even though some of the comments there are kind of harassing them or just speaking out against the hate on this side. And I don't care where the hate comes from. It can either come from the left, it could come from the right, it could come from the independent side, libertarian side, Green Party side. I will not stand for hate. I will not go after a candidate based off of their religion, ethnic background, creed, gender, or whatever. And this is exactly what this person's doing. I think the worst part about this is I used to be this person. I used to, maybe not directly a correlation one for one, but I had similar viewpoints to this person. And I think that's what really bugs me about this. I used to be them. And as I got older, I realized it really doesn't matter as long as they have good policies. I'm willing to fight for the American values that we hold dear. The freedoms to live our life the way that we sh want to live our life legally, of course. And that also believes in the pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of happiness doesn't mean that you are going to be happy, but you're allowed to pursue happiness. You can do things that make you happy. And we live in a time where wealth is easily gained to allow you to live free. Now there's going to be circumstances where you're not going to be able to do that, but those are usually done through life choices. We must be better than, than this to let hate grow. Like I said, I don't really care that she's a Muslim. As long as that she's willing to put forth United States values first than religion. Because that's no different than what the Catholics are doing. Or even the other um, Christian faiths are doing. Or non I forget what I was going to say, but anyways, the Christians have been doing this for a while. That's why they're so against abortions. That's why they're against same-sex marriages and gay rights and the transgender. Those are rooted in the ideology of the Bible. So that's no different regardless if you're a Muslim or a Christian. Now there's a good amount of Christians that have evolved on this subject. So it's not just every Christian. There's a certain sect of Christians, uh, evangelicals, that proudly display this hatred on display. And we must call that out on them. But I do hope she for Congress wins. Although I cannot vote for her because I believe she's in Minnesota going against uh, Umar, whatever her name is doesn't matter, one of the squad members. And I hope she wins because we definitely need some common sense. Oh, not to mention uh, Shu for Congress also served eight years in the military when she didn't have to. So I think she kind of gets the right to say a few things here and there. But 
let's make sure that hate does not spread. The only way to fight hate is to call it out and spread love and happiness and make sure everyone has equal opportunity, not equity of opportunity, but equal opportunity to pursue a life full of happiness. With that being said, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Smash the like and subscribe button on any and all platforms or just the platform you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.